former ZANU PF legislator says that uh, new leaders are coming, people's power is unstoppable. When people get united for a purpose, even bullets cannot stop them. Threats and violence is no longer working. Peaceful elections will deliver a new leadership 2023 for a new beginning with new leaders. And uh, this is indeed true because um, uh, it's time up. It's time up for President Emerson Mnangagwa. He was given a mandate in 2018, although that mandate was questionable. But uh, the opposition leaders allowed him to have his time for five years after uh, the court dispute, uh, which Chief Justice Luke Malaba uh, was heavily involved. So you will see that um, in five years, President Mnangagwa failed to deal with the currency, he failed to deal with the savings, he failed to deal with the economy, jobs, electricity, health care, education care. And right now, is making laws which are meant to suppress the people of Zimbabwe, but um, it's being challenged by, by, by the main opposition and advocate Nelson Chamisa. Nelson Chamisa has managed to come up with a team, a very strong team uh, of MPs and councillors, and um, he's ready to govern. When you have a strong team, when you have uh, a determined team, it shows that you are ready for battle. You are ready to take uh, over power. You are ready to change the system. And uh, among this group, I have seen that uh, there are so many people who can make ministers, so many people who can take influential positions and turn around the economy of Zimbabwe. So many people, uh, competent people. I I am glad to announce this. Uh, Patimura President Nusun Jamisa, Pane Krim, Pane, Pane Inonzi Krim Tata, yo, 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 those people are determined to make sure that there is change in Zimbabwe. So uh, it's from 2022 to 2023, uh, a year plus. But Nusun Jamisa has uh, managed to maneuver, uh, create a team, bring a team together, and uh, have a team of leaders. So tomorrow, 21. That is when we are going to know who is representing who, where, how. Um, so there are people who are saying Tendaibiti lost, uh, Rastmakam lost or whatever. Let's wait for tomorrow. That is when the leadership is going to make a decision, put the right person there. Uh, who is going to, 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 to uh, win that Harare East seat. However, the issue is not about... Um, who is going to be the leader of Harare East, the issue is about. We have so many opportunities, uh, leadership opportunities which are there. Honorable Tendaibit is tried and tested. Honorable Makam is also tried and tested. Remember, in a new government, there is a high possibility that Tendaibit could be a v VP, which means there is no need to worry about anything. Only people who are doubting victory will be worried. But to those who do not doubt victory, they know very well. They know for sure what is going to happen after this election, after August 23. They know. So, Tim Zimbabwe, let us remain united, work together, and win this election for change.